sunshines, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, I am so glad you're here. So for today's video, I am bringing back a box that has not been on my channel for six months now and that is BoxyCharm. So I told you guys in the spring that I was taking a break from BoxyCharm and I was getting all three of them, the base box, the premium box and the luxe box, but that I would bring it back in the fall and I'm true to my word, here it is. I go through phases with beauty boxes. I love them because you get to try new products. It gets you out of your rut. Maybe you try a lipstick color you would have never tried before. Maybe you try a different kind of eyeliner. Maybe it's a gel or a liquid or maybe a, you know, a cream product and you're not familiar with those. So that is why I love beauty boxes. However, a few months of the year, I really just want to go to Insta Sephora, into Ulta, and buy the things that I wanted. And a lot of times, they're brands that I have already learned that I love from BoxyCharm, so it's a good way to kind of feel out what you like. And I missed it. So BoxyCharm is back. They actually did send this box to me for review. If you go back to all my other videos, I was actually paying for all three, so I feel very... Um, bless that they sent this to me for review and we are going to talk about it. So this is their base box. It's $25 a month and you get $125 plus dollars worth of product. You get five full-size products and you get to choose one of the items inside. They also have the BoxyCharm Premium, which is actually my favorite box. It's $35 a month. And they have a BoxyCharm Premium, which is a quarterly box and you have to be subscribed to the base box in order to get that one. So that's the 411 on BoxyCharm. I'm so glad you're back, BoxyCharm. <laughs> anyway, this is what it looks like. And I have a confession at the end of this video. So stay tuned to tell the end. That sounds ominous, right? You guys, I'm cleaning out my closet right now. And I came across this kimono, which is like my favorite piece in my wardrobe. And before I put it away and bring out the fall and winter, I had to wear it one more time. I went to the post office today and everybody's wearing shorts. It's so, so hot here. So I figured it would be okay. All right. So when you open the box, it looks like this. The theme is back to school. Ooh, that's cute. This looks like my vanity right now. <laughs> I need to clean it desperately. And there are five items in here. It looks like 60, 70, 80, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50. 154 dollar value is what I'm going to get. When you sign up for BoxyCharm, you take a little profile and try to get as close to they can as what you like, but sometimes you do get things out of your comfort zone. Ooh, the first thing I see is by Glam Glow. This is the Youth Mud. It's a glow stimulating treatment, anti-aging, fine lines, smooth, refine, and glow. Well, that sounds like it's right up my alley. It's got green tea, natural clay, and volcanic rock. Is this a scrub or is it a mask? Not sure. Let's look. I like Glam Glow products. Ooh, the packaging is really pretty. It's like matte. Glam glow inside. What? <laughs> it's like this little bitty, this big old package for this little bitty jar. That's a lot of extra packaging. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's silver. Oh, it's got a star on the top. Okay, so open it up. It does look like clay. Ooh, it smells really good. It smells fruity. Oh yeah, it is a gritty mask. I think it's a mask. I can't tell. Let's read it and find out. Oh yeah, it is a gritty mask. I think it's a mask. I can't tell. Let's read it and find out. Okay, it says the Glam Glow Youth Mud Glow Stimulating and Exfoliating Treatment Mask. It is a mask. $60 value for that sucker. Youth Mud exfoliates with volcanic pumice rock to, or pumice, pumice rock to help smooth the appearance of fine lines and visibly soften skin's texture while natural clay lifts impurities without disrupting the skin's essential oils. Antioxidants from green tea smooth for more glowing and youthful looking skin. That's nice. I'm a sheet mask girl myself, but I have to say I love getting in the bathtub as the weather starts changing and the water's warm. In the summer, it's too warm and I feel like I sweat. So I like these masks um, in the fall and winter when I can get in the tub and just let it soak while I'm like playing a game or watching a movie or something. Okay, so that was the first item. The second item in here is by Huda Beauty and this is the Demi Matte 
cream lipstick. Now I like that we're getting away from so many matte lipsticks. This is in the color Day Slayer. I love her packaging. I was kind of on the fence. I'm trying to decide if I want to purchase, because I do a lot of advent calendars. You guys let me know what you would like to see. Either the LMS advent calendar or the Huda Beauty. I looked at the Huda Beauty and I think I'm leaning more toward LMS, but which one would you guys like to see more? This is gorgeous. Look at that. Is that the color, do you think? Yeah. That's really, really pretty. It's It almost has a little bit of like a peach through it. But it's definitely a nude. Okay, what, it say, what does it say about that? This is the Huda Beauty Demi Matte Cream Lipstick for $20. It hydrates lips in highly pigmented lacquer like sheen with a velvety satin finish. I like that because the mattes, they just make my lips too dry. So I love that one. Okay, this next one is the Pump Your Base Multi-Use Makeup Sticks by Pinky Rose Cosmetics. We have jazz and hip hop. So I'm wondering if those are the colors. Is this a palette? No, it said makeup sticks. Okay. We have jazz and hip hop. Okay, we've got this guy. And we've got this guy. This is jazz. And then the nude one is hip hop. Okay, it says that these are a $20 value. It says a cream base multi-use makeup stick that can be used on eyelids as an eyeshadow or a primer to your eyeshadow. You can be, you can use these on the bottom lash line, waterline, brow line, or lips. Oh, the perfect duo to be used together or separately. Okay, the next item in here is the Quick Slick. Hold my strays, Looks like this. Okay, this is it's a, a quick slick hair essence. Quick slick is designed to quickly and easily touch up your hair. No alcohol, safe for sensitive scalps, non-irritating, non-flaky essence to slick and smooth your baby hairs and flyaways with a light peach scent. It's a $22 value. I know when you pull your hair back from your face, sometimes you do have those little flyaways. I don't pull my hair back because it's just too short really to do that. But I know my daughter does, especially she's an actress um, and her job um, has her wearing wigs sometimes. She's a princess for a party company. And so a lot of times she's having to slick back those baby hairs. So I'm thinking this is gonna be perfect for her. Ooh, look at it. Insert name here is what the product's called. Quick Slick Hair Essence. That is so cool. Okay, so I, I bet you it has like a mascara texture. Yeah, it does. So it has a mascara texture. So when you're pulling your hair back, you can just do this slightly with it. It just gives it enough hold to keep those baby hairs down and from flying away. This is a brilliant product. Like why? Haven't we seen this sooner? Maybe it's been around and I didn't know about it, but this is really, really cool. Okay, the last thing that we got in here is by Georgette Klinger, and this is the Marula Primer for all skin types. Okay, so this says blur imperfections and ensure an all day radiant finish. Hydrating and long wearing it cushions skin with advanced hyaluronic acid, ensuring silky smooth makeup application. Okay. So that was my box. I did really like it. I won't use the stray hair thing. I think this is actually quite brilliant, but I will be passing it on to my daughter and she will like it. All right, and now it's confession time. I rarely do this, but I actually popped open the box, took a peek and used some of the products to do my makeup before this video. And that way I could give you a firsthand account of exactly what I thought of them. Now, obviously I did not open the Glam Glow. I'm really excited for this product and I didn't use the baby hair thing um, but I did use the other three products so we will start with the Georgette Klinger primer this is like a gel primer it's not too thick and not too thin um, so you just put it on your fingers rub it over your face pat it in um, it definitely when you rub your hands down your face you feel 
kind of a slickness. I don't think it dried down totally. It still made my face feel a little bit tacky, which I don't think is a bad thing. And I do think that it helped kind of fill in those fine lines and wrinkles and my makeup went on beautifully. So I will say for the first item, the primer, I really, really liked it. The second item was this lipstick. Now I have to say, I don't think I love the color. I think I need something just a little bit brighter than this particular shade. What do you guys think? I don't think it's bad. I'm just not sure it's me. However, what I will give this lipstick is how fabulous it feels on the lips. It feels silky and hydrating. It doesn't make your lips feel dried out. I love, love, love this formula. And next time that I go into Sephora, I'm definitely going to pick up a different shade of this. And again, that's what's so great about beauty boxes is because you can find something that you like, it may not be your exact same color, but you can find something that you like, a formula that you like, and go into the store and purchase something different. I don't know. I'm going to play with this with some of my fall colors and see, but I don't think I 100% love this shade. So the last thing I tried were actually the little cream makeup sticks. They said you could either use this as a makeup base, an eyeshadow base, or eyeshadow, or a lip color. So I went ahead and tried these on my eyelids. Now, what I will say is I like cream products. I don't use very many on my eyelids and I did love the color of this one. It's sort of this metallic-y pumpkin. It's very, very, very pretty. That's the lipstick. It's very pretty and it does not go on that dark once you blend it out. It's very easy to blend out with your finger. I wish that it was a little bit more creamy. I have crepey eyes, I'm 50. And as I was kind of pulling it across my eyelid, I did feel like I was tugging quite a bit. So I wish that it just went on a little bit easier. I did try and build it up on one side of my eye versus the other. I did find it hard to build. So if you just want to do a wash of color, I think that's great. I actually put a little sparkle powder eyeshadow, sort of a shimmer in the middle just to give it a little bit more pop. I loved the color. This is just an easy way to have a really pretty eye look without much effort. So I did like this one. Ultimately, I will for sure use it. Um, but I don't think it's going to be like my go-to thing. Now, this one was called Hip Hop, and I'm going to show you what this color looks like. It's right here. You can't even see it. It is the exact color of my skin. I wish that it was lighter or maybe had a little illumination to it. I kind of used it in here, in the hollow of my eyes right here, where I had some like dark spots and I think it worked okay. They said you could wear, wear it on your waterline, but again, I like something that's a little bit more brightening. Um, so I thought this one was okay, but I don't anticipate reaching for this one. Now they did say, I noticed that you could use this on your lips. So I'm going to try this one on my lips and just put it on top of the Huda and we'll see what we think. It's much easier to apply on my lips than it was my eyes. It's thick, it's not super creamy, but the color's pretty. The color's very pretty for fall. I actually like this color a little bit better than I like the Huda, but I like the formula of the Huda a lot better than I like this one. So overall, I would use this color, but probably not the lighter color. All right, so that was my box. Overall, I thought it was a really, really great box. I was happy to kind of play with an eyeshadow crayon because I don't have many of these. Um, let me know down below if you subscribe to BoxyCharm what you got in your box. I love hearing all the different variations. If you're stopping by for the first time, my name is Christy, and I'm so glad you're here. I do all kinds of fashion videos, sometimes makeup, mostly unboxings, but lifestyle and cooking thrown in the mix too. So if that sounds good to you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. You guys, my Instagram stories are fixed. The sound is back. It's been happening for months, but it fixed yesterday. So if you like seeing meal plans, what I'm cooking, what I'm selling on Poshmark, just things throughout the day, I'll pop in and out, then I would love for you to follow me over there. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I will see you soon for another one. Bye-bye.